Since it's cooler out, we decided to make some 13 bean soup and it's the Bob's uh, Red Mill and the dogs are talking. But um, I prep, there's a little bit of prep that requ is required for this. Um, the container is 29 ounces, which is a pound and 13 ounces. But then you take the beans and you need to soak them overnight, which is what I've done. The only other thing that I did is these bigger, I think these are lima beans, had some skins. I just pulled them off, off of each one of them because really don't need this in the soup. So now the instructions say once the two pounds have... The two cups of beans have been soaked overnight. You add two and a half quarts of water, and then you let it simmer for three to three and a half hours. And since we're gonna be leaving shortly, I'm gonna put it, leave it on a low simmer. Um, after three to three and a half hours, you add a cup of chopped onions, a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce, or one quart of tomatoes, and I have fresh tomatoes, so I might use those as well as seasonings, and the seasonings is one tablespoon of chili powder and two fresh cloves of minced garlic. So that doesn't get added until the last half hour. So you add that and then let it simmer for 30 more minutes and it makes eight to 10 servings, plenty to put leftovers in the freezer and I have enough to make another batch from this bag. And I'm pretty sure I picked this bag up at Ocean State uh, Job Lot when they had 20% off of all of their Bob's Red Mill products, which is pretty hardy. So um, instead of ham hock, which is what it calls for, for the basic cooking instruction, I have some ham slices, or it's one slice, but I have it, I've rinsed it and I have it soaking in hot water to leach some of that sodium out because I'm only going to add a small piece of that, but the rest I will refrigerate in a Ziploc bag. Only gonna, I might actually freeze half of that so it doesn't go to waste for the next time I make this soup. So that's what I'll be doing. So again, um, rinsed, two and a half quarts of water, bring to a boil with beans and ham hock. So I'm just gonna cut a small piece of the ham that has the bone in it and leave that in with the beans to simmer slowly and let it cook so we can have a tasty bean soup for dinner. So I've added two and a half quarts of water, just plain water, and uh, less than a quarter piece of that ham steak. And I cut the piece that had the bone, which I figure will add the flavor. Now the ham is full of sodium. The ham piece that we had was 980 milligrams of sodium. I did rinse it, I did soak it, but there's obviously still salt in it, it's cured. I don't want these little pieces in there, take them out. Um, but I figured there's less than a quarter of it and this soup will be will yield eight, eight to 10 portions. So the amount of sodium in each portion will definitely be diminished. So it's still within you know 140 milligrams of sodium per serving for each bowl of soup. So I'm gonna bring this up to a boil and then turn it to simmer. Oh, is this another? No, skins. I think I got all the skins. And as soon as it comes to a boil, I'm going to lower it to simmer. And because I'm a novice in some of the portions, and I'm just following the recipe on the bag, um, two and a half quarts is 10 cups, and I have two cup measures, so I did that five times. And um, I'll probably skim off some of the scum that comes up. I'm sure it's from, you know, the beans have been soaked and rinsed. I rinsed them a few times in a colander. And did you know the difference between a colander and a strainer is colander has feet and strainer does not. I, I don't know why I had always like used them inter, uh, interchangeably, but they're not accurate, not completely accurate. So colander has legs for it to stand up. So yeah, we'll see what it looks like in three and a half hours. I'll probably check it when we get back from the appointment we're going to, and then uh, see how it looks beans will start to break down and I can already see the fat being leached out of the ham because it's starting to get glistening on top but no seasonings yet not till three and a half hours in and last half hour of cooking so I'll have time to prep that when we get back I'm sorry I've missed a few steps in the process I was kind of doing stuff in between working so this is what the soup looks like um, finished it has 
pieces of tomato. I put three large diced tomatoes in there, four or five cloves of garlic, and I used my microplane so it distributes nicely, a cup of white chopped onions, a tablespoon of chili powder, and probably a teaspoon of Mrs. Dash just for flavor. It smells so good. So the ham bone's been taken out. It's a little tiny one. And the ham fell apart into pieces. See what I got? So when I serve it, I'm going to add some fresh parsley and maybe a little drizzle of sour cream and a squeeze of lime. Oh, cannot wait. Now I have to call Polly and ask him to bring home crusty bread. Pretty yummy, huh? Yum. Hearty. And it's 58 degrees outside now, so it'll be very welcome. So there's the soup already dressed. I have a little bit of sour cream in mine, parsley and chives or scallions, and Polly just opted for scallions and malt vinegar, which is also nice. And I have a squeeze of lime juice, so I'm gonna go enjoy this with some toast. Mmm, yum, yum, yum.